we need to talk about combination locks. Opening combination locks isn't difficult once you know the pattern. The combination on this lock is 31, 9, 15. That's the order that I need to dial in the numbers. First the 31, then the 9, then the 15. Now the first step is to clear out any dialed in numbers by spinning the dial to the right or clockwise two to three full turns and then stopping on the first number, which in this particular combination is the 31. The next step is to go in the reverse direction or to the left. Now the second number in this combination is the nine, but I've got to pass it one time and stop at it the second time. That's the secret to opening a combination lock. You always skip the number as you go around one time and stop at it the second time only on that second number. Then I turn to the right again and stop directly on the third number without passing it. Then the lock should open up easily right there. So remember the pattern is right, then left, and then again to the right for the third number. Oh, like that was totally awesome, but I'd like to see that again, yo. I'd be glad to show you that again. Once the lock is locked, I must spin the dial to the right two to three full turns to clear out the combination, stopping on the first number, which is the number 31. Then I spin the dial to the left, passing the nine one time and stopping at it the second time. Then I spin the dial back to the right, stopping directly on the number 15, and the lock should open up easily right there. It's really not that difficult. Here's another combination lock with more flags added and I start spinning to the right. The direction the clock moves. And I spin it through two or three times to clear the combination. I stop at the number 18, which is right there. Then the reverse direction to the left or counterclockwise. There's my second number, but remember I have to pass it one time. So stop at the four the second time I come by it. And then I go to the right and I do not pass that number that time. Go straight to the 26 and the lock opens up easily there. Again, spin to the right, number 18, counterclockwise to the left, four, and right to the third number, which is 26, and it opens up easily there. Opening combination locks is cool. Now here's a combination lock on a locker. Just like the padlock that I showed you, it works exactly the same way. The combination on this locker is 3, 41, 9. That's the pattern that I stop at. Just like the padlock, I turn the combination dial to the right, and I stop at my first number, which is the 3, right on that spot there. Now then I go to the reverse direction to stop at my second number, which is the 41. So I go to the left, to the reverse direction. Now there's the 41, but remember I skip it one time. Stop at it the second time and line it up with the little mark in the housing. The last number is the nine. So I go back to the right, which is the direction I started, and stop right on the spot and with the mark on the housing. Now in the Clark County School District, the combination dial works like a doorknob. So I grab it and I turn it to the right until it stops. It won't turn anymore to the right. Then I just simply pull out and my lock opens up just like that. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to see that just one more time. Now here's another Clark County School District locker. The combination on this lock is 13, 23, 45. So just like all the other locks, I start turning to the right. And my first number is 13, so I stop at the 13, which of course is between the 10 and the 15. Then I go to the reverse direction, to the left. Now my second number is 23, but I don't want to stop at the 23 right away. I want to skip it one time, stop at it the second time. Then my third number is 45, so I go all the way around to the 45 and stop there. Now just like the other locker I showed you, the combination dial works like the doorknob. So I grab it and I turn it to the right, and it stops till I can't turn it anymore. Then I pull the locker open, and I'm inside my locker. Let me show you that again. I go to the right several times to clear it, and I stop at my first number, which is 13, right there. Then I go to the left, pass the second number one time, 23 one time comes around, stop at it the second time, and then my third number is 45. I don't skip that one, I go right to it, and stop at it with the mark on the housing. 
I use my combination dial as a doorknob. I turn to the right until it won't go anymore and I open up my locker. Now the biggest mistake people make when they're new to lockers is they don't remember to turn the lock dial the correct direction. The pattern is right, left, right. Now if this combination dial was a steering wheel in a car, my first turn is going to be a right turn, my second turn is going to be a left turn, and my third turn is a right turn. It's a right turn for the first number. And it's a left turn for the second number. And again, back for a right turn for the third number. So let me show you how that looks. I turn my dial and reset it, stop at my first number, going to the right, doing a right turn, stop at the 13. Now I need to make a left turn and pass my 23 one time, stop at it the second time, going to the left like I was turning my car left, 23. My third number is 45, so I'm going to turn the steering wheel, the combination dial to the right so the car turns right, stop at my third number, turn it a little bit more to the right, and open my combination lock right there. Oh, I get it. I get it. Wait, I don't get it. Now here's a lock that has a little bit of a tricky combination. The combination on this locker is 31, 33, 3. The reason that's a tricky combination is because when I go to the right and stop on my first number, which is 31, now I need to go to the left and stop at the 33. Now because I'm at 31, I barely turn it I'm already at the 33, so it doesn't seem like I go far enough, but there's my 33 right there. I don't have to turn it as far as I do with some of the others. Then I go back to the right, stop at the 3, which is right there. I grab the combination lock as if it were the doorknob, turn it till it stops and pull the locker over. Let me show you that once again. So I'm going to the right to reset my lock and I stop at my first number, which is 31. Now the second number is 33, which is only two points away. So that's the 33 right there. Remember I skip it one time, stop at it the second time. Right there is my second time around. And the third number is three. So I go right to the three the combination dial is like a doorknob. I turn it to the right until it stops and I pull it back to open the door. Now don't worry dear. If you stick with this you'll get it all figured out and you'll be just fine. Have faith in your grandma. You'll be just fine. Once again the combination on this locker is 1945 So I turn the dial to the right several times to reset it. Stop at my first number which is 19. Then I go to the left, the reverse direction. There's 45, but I skip it one time, stop at it the second time. Then I go back to the right, like a right turn of the car, to the 35, I don't have to go very far. Then I turn the doorknob, combination dial, to the right till it stops, and I pull the door open just like that. One last time. Turn the dial, stop at the 19, to the left. There's 45, but I'm going to stop at it the second time. Right there. Then my third number is 35. I don't have to go very far. Stop right there. I grab the doorknob, turn it to the right until it stops, and I pull the locker open. 